Hi and welcome to yet another Chatterbox series. Today we have yet another industry expert with us. Maya Zakur, I... Mia Partners and Pathway Lead at NetApp. So Maya, how are you doing today? I'm very good, thank you. How are you Great. doing? Great. Very yeah. well, thank you. And thank you for taking time out and speaking to us. Thanks as well so, for the opportunity. Thank you. So Maya, I'll start with a very basic question with you. Uh, our viewers are keen to know how you landed up in the IT industry, how long has it been with you, and how long have you been with NetApp now? I landed in the IT uh, because I love mathematics. That puts you in uh, what we speak today about the SAMP, you know, like science and math. And, and this is what encouraged me to do IT. Okay. Uh, very fast, I started developing in the development uh, era, and then uh, after a few years, I felt like I'm speaking more with a machine and I wanted more to be within the people. I did the move to Dubai and therefore to the channel and to the channel business, which I've been doing for more than 18 years now. Mashallah. And I've done uh, several roles with several vendors from Microsoft to Fortinet today with NetApp. And it's really a pleasure to uh, continue in that roadmap because it's not only a job, it is as well a passion that makes me every day wake up and come to my job. Since you've mentioned that you've been part of Channel for a very long time, 18 years and so, so we would love to know how do you define Channel because with such a vast experience, I'm sure you will have a better definition than anybody else out there in the industry. I would say uh, my own definition, and I hope it wouldn't uh, upset anyone in the industry, but channel hope for not, me, yeah. it is uh, our eyes as vendor, our eyes, our hands in the market. Without okay. them, we can't really do anything. I uh, would encourage every vendor to push for more channel focus. Our partners, they can help us grow our market share. Without them, we are nothing. And uh, the definition in itself, it is really believing in our partners and uh, not unlike uh, some other vendors where they think uh, pushing on this direct sales is the key for success. For me, it is an indirect model, but it is direct because I'm using the sales people uh, skills at every, every single partner that I have and doubling it, if not tripling it, and making it even much bigger in terms of salespeople. Uh, partners, when they are enabled, when they are knowing what kind of relationship and partnership they have in place, they can do miracles, they can sell any product, any solution for any customer, because they believe and they trust what they are offering for cust their customer is the right offering and the right solution. So you believe so much in the channel uh, model. So we would, uh, you know, be keen to know that. How do you motivate your channel partners? When it comes to partners and channel itself, it is uh, not just looking at them. Channel sales, pre-sales, marketing, and then treating your partner as if only belongs to the channel organization. Okay. The key success for building a strong partner as a channel person, it's really to be able to create an internal link within the different departments, being it sales, pre-sales, technical, and leveraging on the skills that you can bring internally to your partner that he can take to his customer. That is something that every single partner or channel partner in the market needs to understand. And once he has this background, he builds his confidence. And with this confidence, he really can uh, do miracles in the market. So it is really uh, giving them the right enablement, build their confidence and let them go. This is the main excitement, because if we think that profitability is the only excitement for a partner, that's not the case. We wow. can have different vendors with different profitability programs, with different ways of doing business. But if they don't have the right confidence in the technology that they would want to take to their customers, being their advisors for these customers, they will never be excited. So the key idea here is to build the confidence of your partners and then, of course, build a strong relationship so that they trust you in back and they can take it to their customers. What is more important when it comes to channel selling or selling, in other words? Is it the product 
or the relationship or it's a mix and match of both? How does it work for you? Here we have to add the market. Uh, the market that we represent today plays a big role. I cannot deny that uh, partnership, uh, it starts with a relationship. I've Agreed. changed jobs with, uh, within this industry representing different vendors. And what I felt like the minute I joined a new vendor, partners that they knew me from before, they trust me and they want to come and work with me no matter what is that I'm selling today or I'm okay. representing today. So yes, relationship plays a key factor, but we can be friends. We can be business friends, we can be business partners, but it's not relevant to each other. Here comes the other point in that. So we start with a proper relationship where it builds the trust and then we have to top it with what we are offering. If I have nothing of a great value to our Absolute. customers yeah. or to this partner's customer, then there is no point, you know, the partner Agreed. would struggle to keep this partnership or to keep this relationship. So we always aim to actually manage the relationship, build that trust, but to build that trust, we have to put the right enablement, the right confidence, the right technology, and give them the key differentiator. Once we set these two, yes, the partner would see that this is a partnership that I'm looking forward to achieve even more business with. Lastly, I would like to know if there's any key message from Maya Zaku herself for those partners who are keen to work with NetApp and Maya, what would you like to say to them? You all partners, I love you. <laughs> Every single partner in this market I worked with, uh, being it in Dubai, being it in Abu Dhabi, being it in uh, every single part of the Middle East, and recently as well covering Africa. It's a passion that I have inside me. I would love to sit with every single partner that would want to do more business. And the minute I feel like I'm advising a partner on how he can grow his business and how he can do more with NetApp, because today with NetApp, we have really a very nice message to the market. We're not just selling storage. We are really giving a solution that if a partner would understand how he bundle it with the rest of what he has as an alliances for NetApp, he would be able to give a data management solution in an area or in a market or in a century where data is the most important exactly, thing yeah. that every customer is looking at. Agreed. Customers today, they are not looking only at securing their infrastructure. They want to benefit from their data, data. how they can use it, how they can position it in the future and how they can benefit from this data in a securely manner. So thank you, Maya, for thank being you. on our show. It was a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you. So that was Maya Safu, the channel master herself on our show today, talking about her experience and the channel itself. Viewers, stay tuned with us. We'll come back with yet another series again. Till then, stay safe. Goodbye.